Hey, when you get into a tough spot, when you get into a situation you don't think you can handle, what name comes to mind? Who do you contact? Let's talk about that in your morning cup of inspiration. Thanks for joining me today. I think back to about third grade. One day I was out riding my bike and we had this big hill. It's a cement road and I was up on top of that thing ready to go down that as fast as I could. And I took off for all those little legs would take me as fast as I could go intently hanging on to the steering uh, to the handbars and I'm going as fast as I can and little did I know that slowly those hand grips were sliding off the handlebars and before I realized it I had two grips in my hand <laughs> and so what happens the front wheel turns I take a superman dive across the cement that was not pretty. Scraped up all over my body. I was on the road. I looked across to my house, uh, across the vacant lot, and I saw my mom outside, and she was saying bye to some friends that had been visiting. I yelled, Mom, and I took off running, and that was the name that came to my mind, Mom, help and obviously she did she saw the situation took me got me into the bath cleaned me up bound up my wounds made me feel loved and feel better and in that situation i called my mom but when i asked that question what name came to your mind i hope it was jesus jesus is the name that can solve every problem. There is so much strength in the name of Jesus. Listen to the story in Acts. It's the third chapter. And uh, Peter saw a lame man, and he said to him, Silver and gold I do not have, but such as I have I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Immediately his feet and ankles grew strength. Further down, it talks how the people were filled with wonder and amazement as to what happened. Later on in the chapter, it says, in his name, through faith in his name, this man was made strong. In the fourth chapter, it goes on to say, by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man stands here before you whole. It was all done in Jesus' name. Verse 12 of the fourth chapter, Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Never lose sight today of the power of the name of Jesus for salvation, for strength, for healing, for peace. Whatever you need today, cry out to Jesus. He will be there. That's the name to call. God bless. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time.